most of the designers will have their portfolio in their own website but in my case i don't have my own website yet so i thought why not animate my portfolio and upload it in behance if you're also in my situation right now then stick around till the end because i'm gonna show you how to design it in illustrator and photoshop and finally bring it to after effects to give some animation to it well let's get started so i have created this artboard in the size of 1920 and 1080 by using the shape tool i've created a black layer on it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create the text so i'm gonna type portfolio and i'm gonna select this color over here i'm gonna increase it a little bit more and i am going to duplicate it i'm gonna select both and group it i'll make a duplicate of this and i'm gonna make the color a little darker somewhere around here and i'm gonna select the both and duplicate it i'll duplicate it till i fill the layout now i'm gonna select all and group it together so all this becomes single layer i'm gonna draw a shape and by selecting this and the text at the same time i'm gonna right click and make clipping mask so that it will stay inside this so i have downloaded this image from freepick so i'm gonna drag and drop it in photoshop now first thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and i'm gonna select black and white so we have that black and white effect here now i'm gonna select the image and go to filter noise add noise so this gives a little you know a vintage look for it so i'm gonna click ok now i'm gonna create a new layer and in the color section i'm gonna add the same color red i've used in the portfolio design and i'm gonna click ok the hardness you make it to the zero and increases size as per your image before that select the layer hold alt and click on it so it'll become a mask to the image so whatever we draw it will be inside the image i think this looks fine so i'm gonna export it file export quick png i'm gonna name the file and click on save so we have the saved file here i'm gonna drag and drop it to the illustrator and i'll just adjust it how much ever i want to keep it i think this this looks fine i'm gonna do the same clipping mask for this image as well so i'm gonna create a shape and select the image and right click make clipping mask so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give a depth to the text and the image by selecting the text and adding a little blur effect i'm going to the effect blur and gaussian blur I'm gonna reduce it slightly and there you go it looks fine so on the image I'm gonna add a text which says graphic designer and we can add also add you know brand designer and logo designer whatever feels you're good at and I've added a date over here you can change that as well and a small X over here just to give a you know like a pointer or maybe a bullet point kind of a stuff I think most of the work is done over here to give more life to it I thought why not we can add a signature over here so I've created something like this uh, how to create it you just go to this pencil tool over here you can use a mouse or you can use even a digital drawing pad so you can select the pencil tool and you can just type in like this and if you want to adjust the corners if it's too sharp you can just select the stroke and go to curvature tool and in the corner just double click do this for all the corner whichever you want and you'll have your signature ready we are doing it like a hand drawn so it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure that it looks little clean and neat and from here we have to import it to after effects before that important thing we have to do is we have to create individual layers for this design so as you as now we can see everything is in the single layer so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a layer so first thing i'm gonna add this image so i'm gonna select the image Control x and i'm gonna select the new layer shift Control and v so that it stays in the same place so again i'm gonna create another layer so i'm gonna select this background Control x and i'm gonna select the layer shift Control and v so we can adjust it according to that okay, so we have to do the same thing for all the layers so when you're done doing this and mainly don't forget to name the layers 
because when you add it in after effects it will be too confusing for you to edit individually so quickly i'm going to add the names and get back okay as you can see i have named each layers right here so i'm going to save the project now we're going to jump into after effects so when you're in the after effects you have to create the same size as you created in illustrator 1920 by 1080 and i'm going to click okay and we have the project here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop the illustrator file which we worked on so this is the illustrator file which we worked on so i'm going to select it and drag and drop it directly to the project keep in mind that it will always ask for footages so you have to select compositions and when you go inside you will have your layers over here so that will be really really easy for you to animate if animating first thing you want to do is select this 3d option over here do it for all the layers and you'll see an option here which says active camera where you have to select left and you'll you'll get a blank line like this first you select the background pull it behind and then you select the text background and pull it behind over here and the signature over here and the image let it be here and the name we're gonna put it in the front and date as well to the front when you're done adjusting the spacing between the letters you just go here at the same place and select it to active camera default so now you can see we have a depth between the layers so when you click the drop down here you'll have a transform panel and select the position and the scale and increase it and same thing you do it for the text background text which we have written portfolio we're gonna do it for that select transform and select position and scale and we're gonna move this till here and we're gonna increase the scale and again we're gonna come here and increase it a little bit and finally we're gonna go in the end and decrease it slightly so we'll have these three keyframes which will animate it as you can see here now for the sign we need to make it appear like somebody's writing it what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click it and we're gonna select pre-compose double click on it so we'll get a single layer over here when we're inside the composition we just go here and select the pen tool try to draw on the stroke so basically we are just covering the stroke over here it doesn't have to be perfect you just have to overlay the stroke as i'm doing here to make sure it's overlaid correctly what we have to do is we just click this option here and you'll get the modes you just go select silhouette alpha so when you select that and make sure that so any stroke is not overlaid properly you can see over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that overlaid shape and go to the drop down and you have a button over here add so i'm gonna click that and i'm gonna add trim paths and i'm gonna go inside the trim paths and select the start i'm gonna select the start and move this little to here like two seconds then i'm gonna make this as completely 100 percent so when you play it you'll have this handwritten style to give it more uh, smoother look you have this option here called blur you can just click on it and then you'll have this cool handwritten effect i'm gonna increase the size of it place it in the center now we have the background animation done background text is done and also the signature animation is done now we're gonna do for the image for the image what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the same drop down menu on the transform and select the position and scale so i'm going to increase it and move it a little down and i'm gonna move this till here and i'm gonna decrease the scale and move it up a little and i'm gonna go to the end and again i'm gonna zoom in effect by increasing the keyframes so we have again now three places keyframes where it will animate so now finally we're gonna animate this name over here so there won't be much animation for that we can just give the blink effect for that we're gonna just move it till here and we go to edit split layer and we're gonna delete this and select it and press ctrl d to duplicate it and move it little here so that we have a little gap to have that blink effect and again duplicate it move it slightly 
and then the last layer I'm gonna increase it and I'm gonna select all three and duplicate it and move it here so that we'll have the effect two times so now when you play it we'll have this blinking effect over here okay I think we have done the animation for this so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna export this video so I'm gonna go to file export add to media encoder name the file here and select the destination and I'm gonna click play and the media encoder will export the file for us so now go to the behance profile you will have a section where it will ask for uploading the video so we just click the video and we'll select the video which we're gonna upload and when you're done it's gonna look something like this so when somebody opens your profile you will have a cool animation of your profile if you're using behance to upload your portfolios i think adding this effect will give some attention for the people who are viewing it write for yourself with your own style and i'm gonna add the download links for the project files below in the description please do like and subscribe and i'll be back with another useful video